Hello YouTube, it's Jay from JS Films and today I'm going to talk about my DIY anamorphic lens, the Sankor 16C projector lens. Now there are a lot of projector lenses out there that you can use for your little DIY anamorphic setup, but I'm going to tell you why I chose the Sankor 16C. Now, if you have a lot of money, you can probably buy real anamorphic lenses. The cheaper ones that I can find for my camera is around 2,500 per one lens, and that's the SLR Magic anamorphic lens. You won't have to worry about this crazy setup right here. If you have money, you can buy real anamorphic lenses. They can range from the 2,500 that I told you about up to like $100,000 per lens. Those are the higher ends. But this setup right here, I believe is good enough for me, and I'm gonna tell you why I chose the Sankor 16C. All right, so the first thing that I like about this anamorphic projector lens is this two times stretch. So the GH5S shoots anamorphic 4.3. That means that if I use a two times stretch to it, it's gonna give me proper anamorphic aspect ratio. Now the next thing I like about it is it's pretty common. Now this is the 16C, but they also have a 16D that you can get and any other variations. As far as I know, they are all the same, but I'm only talking about the 16C because that's what I have. It's really small and it's not that expensive compared to like a Koa 8Z, which right now there's one going for $1,600. That's just a projector lens. That's not even including the taking lens. So for price-wise, the Sankor 16C is really not that bad. It is dual focus, meaning you have to focus the taking lens and anamorphic lens unless you use a single focus solution like the SLR Magic adapter right here that turns it into a single focus, but it is double focus. So what separates 16 Charlie from all the anamorphic lenses, the DIY ones? Well, it's this thing right here. Most projector DIY lenses do not have a standard front filter. So I can actually take this off and install filters in front of it. Most of them don't have that. You're gonna have to buy an extra clamp and some of them are really flimsy, but this is actually a uh, 52 millimeter front thread. So I can use a step up filter and I can put my single focus system directly to this lens without needing any clamps or anything like that. And that is probably one of the reason that I am hanging on to this lens. It's just an amazing lens. It's not really hard to find. It's really light and it comes with the front filter thread, which is definitely a must if you're shooting videos so you can put polarized filters or ND filters or anything like that. So I am gonna put on a card, like I said, so I can show you the playlist of the videos that I shot with this setup right here, the Contact Zeiss and the Sankor 16 Charlie. Go ahead and check those out, but if you're interested in getting a DIY setup anamorphic lens like this, definitely check out the Sankor 16C. All right, if you have any questions, like always, let me know, and I'll see you guys later.